the truth, the understanding, yeah. many will not receive it. Mm. Right. Right. Many will reject it. Yes. Right. That's the way. And the one that God sends, or the ones that God sends, mm -hmm. have to be aware of this and have to be made with thick skin well, in order to endure the opposition that will come up against them. That is, yes. Good teacher. Good teacher. The work of bringing truth to a people who do not know truth, uh -huh. but who think they know truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> No different when you hear people say they know God. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But they really do not know God. Well. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. How do we get to that point whereby we actually we hear and know Him? There are signs that you and I have to confront. Yes, sir. There are signs and challenges that you and I have to meet. Because today, when challenges come before the people, too many of us bow to the challenge. That's and we don't take on the challenge. That's right. We end up faltering before we even get to the challenge. We end up bowing to yes, the challenge. Sir. Yes, sir. No. Mm. I remember the days when Muhammad Ali was fighting. Yeah. Mm. And Muhammad Ali didn't bow to no challenge. No, right? yes. <laughs> he kept talking. Yes. Mm. But his talk was with power. That's right. Yes, sir. Especially if you receive the right power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When things got a little too difficult, he just changed strategy, the rope of dope. Yes. <laughs> but the outcome was the same. That's right. Yes, sir. He always overcame. And I'm using that example is that today, people, this journey that you and I are on, God is looking for those of us who have the strength mm -hmm. and the vision yes, sir. to meet the challenge. Yes, that's good. Who has the strength and the vision to overcome the challenge. Well. Who has the will, power, to stand when very few are standing. Yes. Sir. yes. You know, it's like church. Many of us go to a church, we seek a church that has a lot of folks. Yes. Uh -huh. And the reason that we seek a church with a lot of folks is because we don't have the willpower to work. Oh, that's good, Pastor. That's good. We have the willpower to walk through the church and to talk the talk. But we don't have the willpower to work to build the church. Yes, sir. And so many of us stay away from medium size or small churches. Mm -hmm. It's because we haven't developed the mind to be. That's good. When a community has been destroyed, yes. it has to have people that have the vision to construct, to build. Yes, sir. And when God sent Jesus, he sent Jesus to be. Yeah.